part of my concern with uh, the property casualty in Connecticut is, is climate change. And that is partly because we have a significant amount of our insured property. We've got the second highest level of our insured property along the coast and vulnerable to climate change of any other state. Only Florida has more. Now, what do we want? We want to make sure that those people and anybody affected by climate change has access not just to insurance because you know that's one thing we we got to work we got to make sure that their reinsurance market is good the insurance market is good we have to make sure they've got access to insurance but we also have to make sure not just for not just for the industry but for the consumer as well and for the state that the need for that insurance when we have a particular event strike us may actually be less and we know the way to do this is by mitigating the risk all right mm. so you know some of the stuff we can do is easy and here in connecticut we we have you know, the insurance department is a part of a significant part of the governor's council on climate change we're all you know we go around working to increase the uh, various building standards the all that what else can we do that's something yeah. that we look at constantly and what we've been looking at and i say this you know only as an example of the kind of things that states can teach each other is what different states have been doing from uh, louisiana alabama uh, california what have they been doing to enable communities to mitigate risk yeah and to do it yeah Right now, we're leaning towards some kind of grant making or loan funds, especially for those at least able to afford it. So you see some states are doing that. You see what uh, yeah, so Alabama, for instance, has a great program. You look at California on the other side, and there are some interesting things going on in California in terms of, and I'm not sure how, to, how exactly to describe it, but it's a community level effort where the entire community gets together. You know, insurance company provides insurance, but yep. it also reduces their insurance costs because they can issue a bond so that individual houses can take mitigation methods. You're gonna reduce the probable maximal loss in the event of a hurricane or a wildfire. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the kind of thing that we learn from each other. And some yeah. of that is formal. Some of that really is just, you know, we go to these meetings and uh, we text each other, we chat with each other. And it's really? So, how's that working out for you? Let me yeah. see how that's going to work out for us. And that's, you know, that's part of what we have. The fact that we don't have this federal framework that saying, you know, that this, there's only one way to do things. That's part of what makes insurance, certainly. It's made the insurance industry in this country special. And as we've seen over the past, uh, you know, through the past crisis, both the recent banking crisis and with COVID, it's made it strong. I'm Andrew Mace, Commissioner of the Connecticut Insurance Department, and this is the future of insurance.